God loves you, children. God loves you too. There it is. There it is. This is just a drink of water in case Mrs. Bockfest gets a tickly throat. Well, hello everybody. Well done for surviving another week. Have you, had, have you had lots of fun in school this week? Yeah. Yes. Who would like to share something that they've done that's been really exciting? Florrie. Um, uh, we made cards for Captain Tom. You did. Um, what special thing happened yesterday for Captain Tom? He's now been made, not Captain, uh, Colonel. What happened for him yesterday? It was his 100th birthday. It's his 100th birthday. And I wonder if anybody out there can remember how many laps or how many, how much money Tom has actually raised. He has made millions. He's made Perhaps that's something that you can find out for us and maybe you can text it or comment on it in your class blogs for next week. Well, it's our star of the week time. So we have got some stars sitting here in front of me. You've worked brilliantly this week. We've had a really good week of learning. We've been in the rain, we've been in the sun, we've been inside, we've been in the IT suite. We've done lots of wonderful learning. And I hope you have all been busy, busy at home, doing as many things as you possibly can. Don't worry if you haven't done everything on your list. Our teachers are trying to keep you all busy, but that doesn't mean you have to fill in every single thing. Just keep working hard and enjoy what you're doing. So, are we ready to start? We're going to start with red class this week. So we would like to say a really big well done to Theo. Theo in red class. Hello Theo, congratulations. Can we give Theo a big clap? Theo. Three, one. Mrs Pullen and Mrs Hull have said that you have done some amazing topic work oh, on dinosaurs. Me. You've loved the pictures of your, they've loved the pictures of the volcano that you made. You did a volcano experiment. That sounds very exciting. And you've seen all of the words. You've been sharing the words on your blog that you've been finding out. So Theo, really big well done. I hope you're still smiling. We're looking forward to seeing that wonderful work. <clears throat> Year one, we would like to say a big well done to Violet. Let's give Violet a big clap in the comments for us. Now this is rather lovely. This is this is rather a special award. Violet, this is amazing. You have been an enormous helper at home and you've been looking after your dad. Guess what? Violet's dad has broken his leg and Violet has been doing all the looking after. So Violet, you've been looking after dad, you've been looking after your younger brothers, and you've been an absolute superstar while mum still had to go to work. So Violet, well done. Big hug to you over the phone. And we hope that you carry on doing that amazing work. It's a great person to look after somebody. And even if it's looking after someone bigger than you, that's really amazing. So well done. Year two, here we go. So from yellow class, we have Isla. Isla, hello, congratulations. Let's give Isla a big clap. I think Isla will realise which one she is, and I know it's very tricky because we have two Islas in that class. But Isla, this is for you for completing all your work and really having a good go at doing as much as you can independently. Isla, we are so proud of you. We are missing you lots, and we really hope you carry on that independent work. Really great to hear. Well done to you. Year three, so we have green class. We would like to say a big congratulations to Tommy. Tommy, well done. <laughs> this is lovely, Tommy. This makes me smile. You've been showing some real enthusiasm in your home learning, and it's great to see that you've been sharing lots of independent work on our blog for everybody in your class to see. I hope you've had some really positive comments. I bet you have. Lovely to see that. Well done, keep it going. So year four, we would like to say in blue class, and Miss Edwards is recording, so Miss Edwards is especially proud this week, for Dottie. Dottie, congratulations to you. Well done. Miss Edwards is using one hand to clap her five. She can't use both because she's recording. So Dottie, you have done some fabulous work. 
you've written a positive nest report. The Zebras, can you tell us a bit more about that? Well, we wanted to try and pick out all the positive things that are happening at the moment amongst Fantastic. all the news. And so Dottie's written all about Tom Moore and the different things that are going on and made it into a newspaper report. Oh, fantastic. That's it's lovely. Well, Dottie, you'll be pleased to know that we supported you there on that one yesterday. We wrote some lovely cards to say to Tom, happy birthday. We hope he gets them in the post. We looked it up on Google and we sent it in the post after school. So we hope that he's received some cards from Walk to Nabinster. That'd be really lovely if, it, if he hears from our school. So Dottie, well done to you for your positiveness report. And you've apparently been sharing an amazing range of work mm -hmm. all on Purple Mash. You've done French, you've done yoga, Great to see. I'm really looking forward to hearing all about this and all about how you're, carry, you're carrying on with your home learning. I think Cosmic Kids, for those of you that have been watching at home, Cosmic Kids is a really good yoga programme for children and it's talking all about lots of different stories. I'm sure Dottie's probably been doing some of those. But well done to you, Dottie. Brilliant work. Year five, we'd like to say congratulations to Emily. Emily, well done. <laughs> This is a rather nice one. I'm intrigued here. It makes me think I'd like to do a story like this. Mrs. Becker says you have written an amazing story about a fairy caught in a jar. You've used amazing vocabulary and thank you also for your wonderful work you've shared on Purple Mash. What happened to the fairy? What happened? What do we think might have happened? Do you think the fairy got out of the jar in the end of the story? No. Hands up if you think it might be a really happy ending. That's we are it. keeping everything crossed, Emily, <laughs> that it was a happy story and hopefully Mrs Becker will be able to tell us. Thank you, Emily, and well done to you. Keep that super home learning up. And last but not least, we have, I would like to say a congratulations to Molly in Year 6. Molly, welcome. Molly, this doesn't surprise me at all. I know lots of us are doing lots more exercise at home, but Molly has been an exercise guru. Absolute amazing. She's done a fantastic 10K run. And also she's been some, doing some amazing work on Purple Mash, including a really detailed biography about Charles Darwin. I know lots of you have shared some really interesting things about Charles Darwin this week. I've been talking to parents on the phone about it. Really exciting work. I hope some amazing biographies for Mr McGreevy to read. I'm sure he's really looking forward to looking at those if he hasn't already posted those comments. So Molly, well done to you. Keep that running up. You're an amazing superstar. The Golden Mile track is waiting for you when you get back. Well done, keep it up. So those are our stars of the week. Aren't they amazing? But you are also stars here. So let's share, because I don't think we asked that question, do we? What have we been doing this week? We talked about some of the things we've done for Tom Moore. What else have we done this week in our school? What else have we done, Zach? I think we may have done some baking. We did do a little bit of baking at the um, early part of the week. We've been enjoying Joe Wicks. We've been doing Joe Wicks um, every day, or also, Cosmic Kids. We've also been doing some gardening. We have. What did you do today with Miss Edwards? What have you done today? We did like an English investigation and we did um, news reports. You did. And what was really special about these news reports that you did? Um, what were we not allowed to talk about? We were not allowed to really talk about corona. We wanted to talk about something really positive did, that made everybody feel better. So can you share some of those things that you did? What were you talking about? Um, Grace, can you tell us? Or Freya? Can you remember? Can you help her, Grace? Um... Well, we did some. Uh, well, we did some about the animals roaming the city. The animals roaming the cities, mm. and how many more animals pictures. were suddenly seeing everywhere. Animals on the roads; they're able to cross the roads without getting run over, which is lovely to hear. And, um, Anything else? Also, we can see the top of the Himalayas. We and, can see the tops of mountains now. And also. We can see inside the canal, something that we've never been able to see. I think there have been even clips about the River Thames also looking a little bit more clearer than it ever has done before. Isn't it amazing how, whilst we are all feeling that we're just staying at home and how some people are having to still go to work, isn't it amazing how nature 
just still carries on. The, the trees are still growing, the flowers are still appearing, the bird song is amazing. So there are lots of positive things to be really happy about in school and around us still. And nature is all around us. So at least we can enjoy that. So when we're out exercising this weekend, pay attention to the sounds of the birds. Have a listen to the quiet out there. It really is amazing. Well, I think Zach has a prayer that he would like to share with us. So if you would like to join in with us, if you'd like to hands together and eyes closed, and we'll listen to Zach's prayer. Hang on, Abby, let's listen to Zach. Hands together, eyes closed. Dear Lord, we thank we ask you to help Tom Moore raise more money for the NHS. We are glad that Teddy's 100th birthday in Teddy's home and his family and friends. And we hope he's having a good time even though we're not allowed out. We also hope that the NHS is coping with staff and the COVID-19 patients. We are happy the fact that um, the numbers are decreasing and we're looking more positive. We hope to be out soon and get together again. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Zach. That was a beautiful prayer. Would you like to keep your hands closed? Oh, have, sorry, hands together and eyes closed. Harry. It's raining. It's it's sunny today. Now it's now it's sunny. In um, and more in the uh, it's dark. Can we say thank you, God, for our weather? Please. It's Archer's. Um, amen. Amen. I'm going to blow the candles. In a little while. We're going to turn around and we're going to see if we can join in our hymn. So last week, everybody, it was Mrs. Brockhurst and Miss Buckley singing. I know we've got some amazing children today that will help me join in with the, the hymn. We're going to sing Kumbaya. Come sit down. Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya, Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya, Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya. <clears throat> Someone's crying, see so if you can remember the actions. Someone's crying, my lord, Kumbaya. Someone's crying, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone's crying, Lord, Kumbaya. Oh, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone's singing, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone's singing, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone's singing. Someone's praying, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone's praying, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone's praying, Lord, Kumbaya. Oh, Lord, Kumbaya. That was beautiful. Well done to everybody. Stay safe, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. And we hope that you carry on with the super work you're doing. Look after those families. Keep going, Violet, with Dad's poor broken foot. And we hope to hear from you all again soon. Bye for now.